but uh, that was just the other night. So uh, get uh, I'm gonna get the chat loaded up in here. Uh, I went an hour back because I planned on going fishing today, and I thought I was gonna be going, and it didn't work out. But I went yesterday and caught several bass. Uh, so we'll talk about that. And while we're on here, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know uh, we got a giveaway coming. Uh, going up on Instagram tonight. Uh, probably um, going to keep it for my YouTube guys and Instagram followers. I don't know. We'll see what we're doing on. But. Let me put this video on my Facebook page and we'll get going really quickly. So I'm sorry if I'm not uh, responding to any questions for the second, just so I can get this thing uh, going on here. Hopefully some of you guys have got a, have had the chance to get out and do some fishing, uh, stay away from people. Uh, it's kind of crazy though, a lot of boats on Kentucky Lake yesterday. Um, especially for, well, I mean, it was a Friday, so. Wow, it's crazy when I'm streaming, I try to type something in Facebook, it just takes forever. Facebook is kind of the devil. I'll be honest with you guys, if it wasn't for my Bateman page, I'd probably just delete that thing, so. Anyway. We should be good here. So let's uh, let, let's answer some questions and agree each other for a little bit. So, Monty McWilliams, what is up, my man? Uh, I'll try to get a hold of Jake today. He says he's having some trouble with his boat because uh, the courthouse is closed. So this is kind of crazy. A buddy of mine, or Jake Lawrence on the channel, bought him a boat, went to uh, uh, tie the license that thing. But the courthouse is closed, especially in a lot of places, and he can't even get the insurance on it because he's got a... Um, go to the courthouse and pay the tags on it so that's crazy no problem chris what's up sean darius my man you gotta been catching them this week they've been biting so what's up cody Ooh, ollie's is a really good place that sucks sean so uh before we get started you know we'll talk some shallow water fishing some plastics and some jigs and whatever you guys want to maybe talk a little bit about spawning fish i i made a mistake and i should have set up the bait room backwards and had the soft plastics in the background because we're going to talk a lot about that and uh, i just didn't get around to it um, but i gotta show you guys a photo here oh bass blaster new stuff oh yeah it's all new stuff I guess I'm going to have to get my website going uh, once again. Uh, I, I, I love all the websites, but man, I just can't do the pay to play deal. Like we only show stuff if you pay me and I'm not about that. So let me show this jaint um, that user St. Cress sent me. I've got to find it here. Check out this son of a gun. Now this boy's is a jaint i don't know the weight on that but that you know that's over five most definitely so i meant to show this thursday night but that is a jaint and uh he lives uh somewhere around epic eric so uh yo maryland be putting them things out two sevens on a bed behind the house wow what's up tom have not tried the Lunker Hunt Pocket Frog. You know, it's fine, Darius. I, I'll, I'd like to go over um, to Barkley. What's up, Baron Bates? Man, I love the Instagram. Maybe I should do Mountain Dew and Bates. Or Apple Juice and Bates. Whatever. Damn. That's awesome, Dylan. Uh... So, got to give a shout out uh, to subscriber. Uh, subscribers have been awesome to me. And um, check this this dude out. Uh, dude sent me a Strike King Wake Shad. Uh, 
awesome bait, discontinued, hard to find. Just said, hey man, this thing's sitting on my pegboard. It ain't coming off of it. I don't use it. I know you like them. I'm sending it to you. So dude, shout out for the OG, the Strike King Wake Shed. One of the few baits that's been discontinued two times. They come out once, discontinued, low sales. Come out again, eh, it sold a little bit better, but nationally, wasn't a big one. So the big issue with this bait is honestly, it casts like shit. It, it helicopters and spins and it doesn't ever go straight forward. But uh, really like this one, just a plain sexy shad color. Uh, to be honest with you, um, I'm not going to get it repainted. I'm just going to fish it like that right there. Uh oh, guys, the Monty bomb has went off. My man, Monty Mac, you don't have to do that, Monty. I tell you what, I need you to take me fishing on one of your jaint holes. Thank you so much, Monty, for the donation. You know, I got I got a, I got a bunch of goodies I got to get to you, my man. Um, send me, shoot me an email, Monty, uh, if you can. Send me an email. And let's talk about getting together pretty quickly. Um, if I'm allowed to travel to Tennessee, this whole quarantine thing's gone crazy. But um, we got we got to get together, man. Or I go. There, send me your address so I can ship you some of this other stuff I've been getting. So, so I do know that um, someone had posted on Instagram. Guys have been. What's up, Brian Crawford? Brian is old school Kentucky Barkley Lake guy, man. He catches them with the best of them. I don't know why he watches this. He knows way more about fishing than I do. Uh, what's up, Bill? Um, Brian Crawford is one of the best jig strokers on this planet, too. If you want to learn to stroke a jig, that is the guy I need to get on here to tell you how to stroke a jig. Yes, they shut down the BFL, William. It's kind of rough, man. We shaking, we shaking. Um, what was I talking about? Anyway, we're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, if you missed the stream the other night, I've got a, I got a bunch of stuff from uh, six cents in. So this is what we're gonna give away. I'm gonna give away a Jane Juice wake bait. You know, the the swimming crank. I'm gonna give you a bait bag. To give you a one hundred X. Oh, 50x, a provoke, and a flat 75. So you're gonna get the whole Jaint Juice lineup right there. The whole lineup. So I got me a little photo ready for Instagram, and you gotta be a subscriber here on the channel. So if you're new, make sure you hit that sub button. And uh, after the video, you have to, all you gotta do is leave a comment because i'll be selecting a winner by the comment section so and then instagram comment tag a buddy that kind of stuff my instagram is baxter the bait man i'll drop it right here jaint explosion it is a jaint explosion that's a good idea so got an idea for a new t-shirt i'm going to take the captain d's logo we're going to change it to catching these. And uh, I'm sure some other YouTuber that likes to steal my stuff will have that out before I do. But I think catching these is going to be a really good shirt. So, No problem, Brian. Definitely uh, one of the dudes I looked up to. And I've definitely uh, donated you plenty of money. Um, we had some great times, man, fishing those USA Bassins, you know, in the mid 2000s. It was unreal. We. Brian, I tell you how good Kentucky Lake is. We'd have a 22 to 23 boat tournament, and 18 boats would have 20 pounds. It was unreal. Man, hookup tackles got it going on. But yeah, I'll post that on Instagram uh, sometime tonight after I do the thumbnail, all that good stuff. And uh, you can win some stuff from Six Cents. But a lot of guys, uh, I got some new stuff in from them. This is something that uh, I really didn't have a lot of, and that is. Uh, wobble heads and these are the core x and i kind of like these for a, a big a different reason than most guys number one uh they don't really have a, a true eyg or ewg hook uh they got a nice football head and they got uh got your spring lock 
But I like that style hook. It's a little bit different. Uh, you can put any kind of bait you want to on there. I know guys that flip with these things, but I uh, kind of got this to, you know, if I wanted to put one of these on there, spicy beef. Let's see how this guy looks. Put the little spicy beef on there. Very simple. If you've never used these wobble heads, a lot of them have a spring. And you can kind of just screw this guy on right here. This is just an example. I really like using baits that have a lot of swimming uh, kicking action for these wobble heads. And see, I'll, I'll do this. I'll leave a, just a little bit of gap up top because if you push it in too far, your head can't really pivot and move. And then just kind of like a Texas rig, man. The weight's already up there. Oh, man. Nasty, nasty on that wobble head right there. Nasty. So, what I was going to tell you guys about uh, the Axis. Um, if you have seen the Six Sense Axis on the live stream, on their stuff, uh, the Axis is available at Academies. Uh, they have got, Academy has an exclusive deal. I get the first shipment of the Axis for the public. And they're there and it's the new updated one it's the it's the ready for retail um i'll grab mine so i can definitely show you guys now the axis if you haven't seen it the spring colors are a little late but make sure you check your local academy everybody's getting shipments at different times and i'm sure they'll be on the six cents website very soon so the new ones are a little bit different uh, the ones that are at the retail, you see this little spot right here where the, the blade goes in? There's a little piece of plastic there, I think, could be wrong, that really prevents uh, this lip from wearing out. So the bait doesn't go up and down. It doesn't like fly hard like a chatterbill. Just barely, it goes a little bit side to side. Now, this bait doesn't dive really, really deep. Uh, it really rolls. And uh, it... You get the right retrieve. If you fish it too fast, it will come up and fly out. But uh, it's meant on a steady retrieve to a slow retrieve and twitch your rod tip. And it will do some crazy stuff. But uh, a lot of guys think this thing just flies back and forth. It doesn't do that. What it does is it just makes this bait roll and really flash really, really hard. Uh, this weighs like half an ounce. You can you, you can throw this on your square bill rod. It's not a giant. Uh, you're not going to have to have a huge different setup but i'd stay tuned on the six cents site i have a feeling they're going to go up in the next week or two but go to academy first um what is crazy about this is this gold blade is, has some crazy flash to it so different color blades are going to do different but the gold the blade flashes big time so it's kind of crazy uh it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea there's going to be some people that buy this bait and go man this thing doesn't do it's not a, they think it's going to be a chatter bait uh, it's not. They think it's going to run just like a square bill. It does, it's kind of in between, uh, but man, it has a huge roll to it. It's going to be a really good dirty water bait, uh, but we'll see. You know, I'm not saying it's the best bait ever made. It's a great concept. I kind of like what I see in the pool. Um, the guys up north, I think, are really going to benefit from this bait because it's kind of it's fixing to get out of square bill time quickly here. So, all right. I like the regular Quake 70 myself. It's not the loudest out there, but I like the pitch. Uh, and I do like the 70 thud. Let's see. If I move fish off beds because... If fish move off beds because of a cold front, will they move back? Uh, usually they move back to the same one. Uh, the Randy Me Randy Maccabee, I believe, has a shorter handle. It's either shorter or longer handle, one of the two. Uh, I like the I like the 805 CB. That's a really good rod. The Bateman box should be in stock, Joe. It always is. Let me check here. Well, that's what I got a cell phone for. They may have run out of some bait. Uh, that's very possible. Uh, let's 
look here. Can't even find my own, uh, Bateman box. Dang. It is sold out. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, probably, uh, I had the Jane Juice 100X in there. I had to email Casey. Um, Bateman box doesn't come with the travel bag. It sure don't. Um, Bateman box sold out. That's crazy. Um, I'll get together with Casey, Joe, this week, and we'll get something. Uh, may have to swap that 100X out in Jane Juice with something else, but... What color would you pick for Kentucky and Barkley late with that Axis? Uh, obviously, I'm gonna, I love this color. It's one of my favorite spring colors. Get a, get a get a couple shad patterns and get something that's a black chartreuse, something like that. So, Bon Owl Fishing, I think we'll get something new here in the next month. I'm going to get like a uh, kind of a spawn deal. You know, you know, something for the month of April, early May. Uh, th this big travel box, man. This thing is this thing's sweet. I like that. Better find that on their website. But the giveaway uh, is going to have all the jank juice, uh, and we'll have the six cent small bag. What's up, Dylan Estes? Dude, this hat is like worn out. It's uh, you don't want this hat. You'll get Cowboy nineteen. So that's the second time the Crush 100X and Jaint Juice is sold out. So, Sycamore, uh, usually that squirrel by at least here dies down about mid to the end of April. That's when these fish really start pulling out off and go deep. But the cool thing about uh, squirrel is uh, you can catch fish all year round on it, especially if you're a shallow water guy. I don't know Ken Smith, but evidently he's like a, a Raven legend hammer. So, um sounds like a good deal there or you could get the dirty stash box because josh is dirty and he needs the money to take a bath is your pre-spawn spawn your last box the box that's on six cents website right now is the last box i did it's sold out uh so the one before that was kind of like the winter winter box so what do i fish with when the bass are roaming the baits really hard and very skittish i like a zoom super fluke uh, believe it or not, or a nail rig in a french fry. That's called a lot of fish when they're really skittish. Uh, have you tried the Quake 80 suspender? I have not thrown the Quake 80 suspended bait. So, anyway, I'll, back to the, the deal. I love these uh, wobble heads. Um, one of the first fish I ever caught on one of these was with a D bomb on the back, and I caught about a five pounder. So, and I always forget about this technique, but it catches a lot, a lot of fish. I know Ben Milliken's a big fan of that. There's some guys I know that use the wobble head to flip bushes with instead of a Texas rig, which I think is crazy. Best Dobbins rod in the Fury series for a chatterbait, uh, probably the 704, maybe the 705. Probably go with the 705 because it's just got a little bit more backbone to it. Could we get a Pang Bank Pond Bankman box? It's a good idea. That's a good idea. I almost went pond fishing today. Probably going to go tomorrow. So, so, yeah, so I got those. What are you here? I got some daggum jigs. They might, Dave. I think they got something else in the works. Really going to uh, wear that. Milliken had a pack of six-inch chatterbait. You know anything about that? I think that's going to be... Uh, they're going to make it and not sell it. I, I don't know. I have to ask Ben, but that's something uh, I don't know about in the works. Um, because, man, we don't need another $15 chatterbait. And that's the words from Ben's mouth about a couple months ago. I knew someone was going to ask on the stream about it. I think that was a custom deal right there. I don't think that's going to be sold for public just because um, patent issues. I hate to tell you, and, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, you're just not going to beat the jackhammer. I'm sorry. You can. Uh, everyone's trying and doing what they can. You just can't beat the jackhammer. And I don't mind paying 12 Now, I, I, Somebody said you can find them for $12. I looked and found them. 
uh, for that price, for 12 to bucks, you're not going to beat the jackhammer. Um, Dobbins got plenty of good rods for skipping. Uh, I'll tell you right now, you can have anybody can make a rod and call it a skipping rod. It's all about technique. The rod has a little help, but it's not going to make you skip any better unless you practice, practice, practice. Uh, I've seen too many people buy like a Tatula SV and a rod. Say I bought me a skipping rod, and I can't. I still am backlash on what's going on. It's all about technique. So uh, I have used a micro chatter bait. It's a pretty cool deal. Great pond bait. So, uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but Z-Man really doesn't have a patent on the blade, so to speak. There's a lot, you can, you, you can make your own blade. Um, they don't sell their blades, but I would agree with Matt Birch. Picasso shot blade is pro is really good and the Thunder Cricket is good. What's up, Kevin Condra? You are the bait guy right there. You have an impressive collection, my man. On my lake, after spawn, spotted bass school up and worked the surface up and down the middle of the lake. Top water dogma, man. Anytime those fish are up on top of the surface and schooling, gotta throw a walking bait. So that dogma, 115, Ghost Pro Shads, it's a really killer bait. But. Anyway, so a lot of guys have been asking recently. Say, uh, look at here. Got the six cents finesse jigs up in here. So I found a color that I really like. And this is just, just a magic blue craw. Dude, got you a couple diving champion extremes, Russ. You're going to love them. That's, those are my favorite rods. And I'll let you know. Dobbins has a great warranty. You pretty much just send it back. They'll take care of you for a small fee. But got that magic crawl. Look at that. So I didn't realize this, but these skirts are all hand tied on the finesse jig. And you've got a nice little screw lock here. The weed guard is it's a it's thin, it's soft, so I like that. And you got a pretty decent size hook in there. Uh, me personally, I'll trim my weed guard just a little bit, but really like that magic, just a straight magic crawl blue. Gonna work really good with that. Let's see what other colors I got. I like this one. This is called Green Pumpkin Legend, and it's kind of like a o OG green. With the little green flake in it. Really like that one right there. Hand tied. And I'll tell you guys a good way to catch a lot of fish in the spring in shallow water is with a little finesse jig like this and fishing it on the end of wood, laydowns, or dock posts. Man, they don't like these little finesse jigs, especially when they're bedding or getting close. Let me see if you can focus in there and really check out that skirt detail. Yeah, man. That's a nice. That's Green Pumpkin Legend. Great way to catch your fish. It's Put you a small crawl on the back, like a little pack of crawl or speed crawl. Um, dude, you guys that ordered the Dobbins, that sale ends Monday. So get on that Facebook page, call on Monday, let them know the bait man said, uh, got a sale going on. He loves your rides. And I sent Gary a message today. So here's another one in that finesse jig from Six Cents. Word on the street is Casey's mom is the one that ties all the jigs. So, got some mama, mama love from Six Cents on that. That's a, just kind of a, a natural color right there. This one is uh, 5K Crawl. So, got a little purple flash in there. A little purple flash. And it does have some living rubber in the skirt as well. So, you've got your normal silicone and you got some living rubber in it. Uh, so you're going to have some flare in there. So really like that color. And then the last one I got is uh, Green Pumpkin Blue. Got to have some Green Pumpkin Blue here. I like this uh, green because it's a true green. Almost like the Baxter's Bug Green with some blue in it. 
I'm going to talk to Casey and see if we can get a Bateman special Baxter's Bug style uh, finesse jig if you guys would like that. Love the so really like that. This is a good sharp hook there, but again, don't forget about this finesse jig this time of year. Um, when bass are finicky, especially right now, what I know is yesterday fishing on Kentucky Lake, a lot of finicky bites. Man, they're gonna have to rename the Mike Long series. Uh, I don't know what's gonna go on there, but Mike Lo Long is not a very popular guy anymore. I guess when you snag all your fish uh, for Instagram, it's kind of going to get a bad deal there. But, you know, he had a lot of people fooled, man. A lot of people. Let's see if I can put these back in. Bateman Tungsten Jig Recommendations. Uh, Beast Coast. Beast Coast makes a good uh, tungsten jig. Um, they don't really make a flipping one, but they make a tungsten style jig. Um, the Kitek one isn't bad. Um, I kind of just don't use tungsten jigs unless they're out deep because I'll lose so many of them flipping. It'd be crazy. Where do I find chatterbaits for 12 bucks? You can find jackhammers. Get on eBay. Uh, search Facebook, man. That's the best best way to do it. Dude, Crawford, that 806 swim bait rod is amazing. You can throw so many big swim baits on that. I know you like that bull shad over there. Hope I didn't throw a secret out there. Is tungsten really that much better than a lead jig? In a jig, I don't think so, but tungsten sinkers, I'll never use a lead weight ever again for Texas rig, Carolina rig. It's pretty much going to be tungsten all the time for me. I just like it because it transmits what's on the bottom a whole lot better. Now, your old school Carolina rig guys, they like the lead weight. So. What rod dobbins for spinner baits and tight quarters? Six, I think they make a 684. It's a small six foot eight rod. I don't know if some guys like that for jerk bait. That's a really good one. Uh, I like the 684 Jerry Jones for the uh, Dobbins uh, jerk baits. 685, or excuse me, 685. That's a pretty good one. I really like a four power, but um, let's see. Whoa, man, so many questions going. Guys, if you want your question answered, don't want me to overlook it. Hit that super chat button, it highlights it. Um, I don't ask for donations, but it helps me to not skip over somebody's question to make sure you guys are all taken care of. Uh, again, you don't have to donate to the stream, but hey, I'll take a dollar if you're going to give me a dollar. It ain't how much. And uh, some guys were asking, so if you're watching this stream offline, uh, some guys were asking, hey, how do I donate to the stream? Uh, I'd love to send you a gift card, or I'd love to send you so-and-so but I don't know how to do it live. Uh, in the description of the video, uh, afterwards, I'll put a link to my PayPal, and you can send me a donation. If you want to, you don't have to. Just saying. Times are getting a little tough around here, getting laid off, so, hey, I'll take your extra couple dollars to buy some baits with, and I'll give you some shout-outs. So. Bateman forgot, what head you recommend for hollow body swim baits? Uh, that's the Revenge XL. That's my uh, Revenge head is probably my favorite. Uh, there's lots of good ones out there. Uh, the Dirty Jigs, uh, Matt Allen Swimbait Head's really good for hollow bellies as well. Uh, I really don't like screw locks. I know a lot of guys use them, but on hollow bellies, they really tear up more than they do damage. So, or tear up more than anything. Because there's on a hollow belly swimbait, there's not very much in the nose of the bait. And so you do all the screw locking, and really there's not much of the plastic that's Locked on. What's up, White Whale Fishing? Ooh, I gotta catch up on some stuff. So, who is going to? Uh, guys, we're doing the circle hook, a light forward snagging tarpon. State finally banned it. Really? The 
Dobbins does make a good one. How durable are the six cents bags? Do you have any handy you can show actual size? Sure. Whoa, snap. Paul Bird hit that $50 holla, man. Just out of the blue, man. Paul, thank you so much. I hope you have a blessed week. May all your children and grandchildren be born naked, man. Uh, that is going to get... That is going to help out the bait, man. Uh, the bait junior is killing me. He went to the tackle store, and he was like, wanting to buy everything. So, uh, appreciate that, Paul Bird. So, someone's asking about the six cents bait bag. This is the medium sack right here. And I have got, loaded this up with Divine Swim Baits. And I just put it like that. But this thing is deep enough. I can turn them this way. But you see how deep that thing is? I don't know on the video. You, if you want to put like brush hogs and stuff like that in there, you can put a ton of stuff. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these Divine Swim Bait packages. And if you see that, I could get a lot more in there. Uh, Mia bags are pretty good size. And see, you know, I can store swim bait packs like this in there. You know, I could put... Well, I want to throw my Scottsboro Tackle Swim Baits in there. Boom. They're in there. So that's what I'm going to use this bag for. I'm really just going to kind of get my swim baits organized. I mean, you can put a lot of stuff in here. There's no telling how many packs of little jigs like this you could do. Um, and then here's the... This is the regular bait bag. So you can tell there's a big difference. This is a different style. It only zips. Whereas the medium... It zips and the top velcros. This is a different material too. Very nice, very sharp. Very nice. How much? It's like 20 bucks. And this is these are great. So eventually a lot of the stuff you see behind me, I'm gonna have organized in these bait bags. The six cents make underwear, James. I wouldn't buy it because I tend to stain my underwear very easily. All right, that was a joke, guys. Do you think Six Cents will get into the last tech game? No, I don't think so, because Z-Man owns all that stuff. They got they got a pat they got a patent on that. Matter of fact, the Strike King last tech is made by Z-Man. That's how Thunder Cricket. That's how they got away with it. They have a really Z-Man pours all their three X plastic, so there was a little trade off there. I like it in Borat voice. I wish I could do Borat voice all time. Some of my baits, they smell like sleeve of wizard. Anyway. Smash Tech, I haven't used it in some good stuff. I got some friends that talk quite good about that. Kevin, would an 8 inch mag draft in the package fit in the midside bag? I don't know, man. Uh, that mag draft package is like this big. It would be. It would be close. If I had a mag draft in the package, I'd look. I'm going to say maybe. But I'm going to tend on the side of no. My heart says yes, but my brain says no. Um, that's kind of how it is. But I think you could get like one of these in there. I think they got a large one coming out too. So That is what she said, Steve. That is what she said. Sean, I think, in my opinion, the whole swim bait soft storage is totally overlooked. I've got an idea. And again, because YouTube pirates are out there, I don't want to say, but I've I've got an idea of a, of a system to store these soft swim baits. And I think it would be awesome. And I'm telling you guys would buy them up buy them up because what's worse is uh you know like buying a pack of bass tricks look at this thing this is 10 bucks a pack that's what i paid retail just like everybody else that tail gets warped done for i don't want to go boiling baits in my kitchen yeah you can do that but it's boring so what the hell was that big lure i just picked up that my friend is the working class zero just like my shirt says this is the citizen swim bait it's badass it's going to be time for this soon. It's time for it now. 
That's a seven inch hunk of plastic. Yes, I have used the hybrid jigs, dragging it like a football jig works really good. It's, I'll be honest, man. Uh, I think that's one of the most versatile jigs out there because you can flip it. It's an amazing skipping jig and it's great out deep. That's why I keep that one, that one I have somewhere here, Sean, I keep it hanging. Dude, right. One, one pack of Kitex. I, I've got an idea. I don't know how I can get it to work. This may be something I go over with Casey, maybe Bart at Bass Mafia. Like, man, this is, this is going to work, man. People want to save money. On their swim baits, I think uh, we can get it done. So, looking for new full body swim bait outside of Kitek or Strike King. What you got? Full body, like pre rig. I man, I'm gonna tell you, dude. Scott's Burl tackle. That's one of the best out there, man. I, I love these guys. This is the one of their best sellers. This color is called Natural Light. Uh, it's not cheap, like the beer. Uh, great in a three pack. This is just the standard five inch size, all around. It's great on a weighted hook, up shallow. It's great on a jig head. It's got great action. Uh, when I throw these in my pool, I wish you could see the head. It's got awesome movement. Great. They're soft, and Tim is a good guy. Um, speaking of Scottsboro tackle, I got something really, really important for you dude I will I gotta start doing that you know are you using the uh, mag draft Brian that's the uh, this style the Brian are you using the freestyle mag draft or are you throwing the the uh, the one with the harness and modifying it yes you can Steve you can boil the tail so uh, Got some pretty important news from Scottsboro Tackle. Um, let me check it out here. If I can get this thing open here. So there's, I don't understand why people decide that... Uh, while I'm streaming, they need to text me and all, but that's okay. That freestyle's a bad dude, Brian. So, Scottsboro Tackle Company is running a special um, they're making their own swim bait box, man. Um, and I want to talk about it real quick, because because Tim and Andrea over at Scottsboro Tackle uh, have been awesome, awesome to me. And so if you go to their website, which is scottsborotacklecompany.com, you scroll down here on the phone. Uh, they are offering a premium swim bait box. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, for $99.99. So the total retail will be over $130. We built the box with top swim baits. Well, you look here in the photo... You've got 316, Huddleston. There's a Gancraft up there. Uh, you've got swim bait heads and bass tricks. So I want you guys, if you, you if you want to get into the swim bait game, go to gospelrolltackle.com, order that box. Because here's the deal. Unlike a lot of other e-retailers right now, uh, Alabama, they're on a they're on lockdown. And they can't have any foot traffic inside of their store. They got an awesome retail store. Uh, so ordering that box is really going to help out with Tim and Andrea as far as the business. You're going to get awesome stuff. And uh, they're good, good friends of mine. And uh, I would, even if you don't buy this box, send them a message on Facebook and Instagram. Say, hey, hang in there. We all support you. Saw you on the bait man. Uh, Get 140 bucks to swim base for a hundred dollars. It's a pretty good deal. That's like 25 percent off. So I don't think the plain uh, plain old edge has some great looking boxes, but I don't think all of them are practical. Like their big crankbait uh, box, uh, you can't fit that many crankbaits in it. David Fine, I used to have a. They used to make a top hook HUD shad, and I bought some years ago. And 
I caught a lot of schooling fish on it. For some reason, that was one of the best schooling baits I'd ever found. It looked, it was about the size of a, a baby gizzard or thread fin, and those fish really liked it. It had a lot wire hook in it. Water's too dirty for sight fishing, but they're starting to bed. What to throw? Caught some swimming lizard, nothing else worked. I'm going to let you know, me and old Mark Menendez, uh, Mark whacked them yesterday. Absolutely slaughtered them. Uh, not a lot of janks. He did catch one like six and a half, though. It was huge. Uh, but, I'm going to tell you right now, keep it really, really simple. I like this better than a brush hog. Is, this is a Strike King game hog. This is the black blue swirl. Get you some regular, uh, this is the Magnum, by the way. Get you some regular Strike King Game Hogs or a Baby Brush Hog. Uh, I like just whatever color. Keep it really simple. And get you like a 5 16 tungsten weight. And get some 14 pound line fluorocarbon. And just instead of fish, and just cast. You don't want to cast at the bank. You want to be about 10 foot away from the bank. And just blind cast or cast those bright spots. Fish a real lighter line than normal. And just use a basic Texas rig and, and fish. If the water's high, fish the old bank line. Um, that's a, you know, water's dirty, man. Get to those, you know, dark black and blues. Those black and reds. Natural, you know, dark colors. And fish a real light Texas rig, man. You'll catch some fish. Dude, Scottsboro Tackle Scrounger is badass. Sight fishing is overrated. Dude, I suck at sight fishing. I'll tell you a good sight fishing bait. Is that right there? A weight bait is really good. What's up, Clayton Jones? Man, I hadn't heard your name in a little bit, bud. I'm glad to see you on here, Clayton. You're a hammer, bud. Yeah. A uh, striking structure bug is good. Yeah. I tell you, a lot of guys, I'm one of them. I'll just Texas rig a beaver or a prawn or something like that. And fish it really, really slow. Instead of flipping it, dragging a beaver around uh, on a white Texas rig or shaky head, catch a lot of big. I do use a finesse Carolina rig. Missouri Swimbait Slinger. I have... Mm, I like to eat ice, by the way. I'm a redneck. Gotta eat my ice. I have used a Bass Sandy Glide Bat. Matter of fact, I bought one this fall. And I'm gonna tell you guys, don't use braided line on big swim baits Because I lost mine about the fifth cast... And I always preach, don't use braided line on big swim baits. And I did, and I got hurt. Ron, a uh, little bit. Had a lot of kids. Or I have, I've got two kids, and they drove me nuts. So I'm not driving anywhere tonight. I'm not a big drinker, but it's a self-made cocktail medical cocktail you, you know what i'm saying McQuiston, believe it or not i work with a lot of people at pella that drive all the way from your neck of the woods uh, i need to message you about a guy that used to teach over there where you live at the only time i really like braid with treble hooks is with the lipless crankbait i, I do really well with braid but i put a leader on it uh, Braid with a leader was amazing, actually, when I fished at Pickwick uh, on a football jig. We got to get that welfare bear in. Speaking of welfare, they don't pick my hours up at the, the window plant. I'm going to be on it, so. 
Dude, so wake baits are great for shallow water bedding bass. Uh, Berkeley makes a really good uh, wake bait, kind of like a red fin. It's a really, really good one. So I need to just do a wake bait show. We're going to clean some stuff up. All right. Nobody likes social programs until they get money. I'm not a socialist. And I'm not... I'm not, All right, let's... Let's not even get me on the politics here. I'm just going to tell you that I work my ass off and I pay taxes. So if you want to send me a check in the mail, I'll gladly take it. Bull Wake is really, really good. And Jack and Mikey is awesome, so... Let's see what I got here. We're, we're going to talk about a little bit about soft plastics, uh, you know, for the spring. Let's get the, uh, let's get this bass. Well, we don't have to have that. I got one more thing here. The son left his damn iPad in here. <clears throat> I think I might be ready. Hopefully my, my sphincter there look good for you. So I'm going to be really honest with you guys. Is agree or disagree? This is the best soft plastic for shallow water bass, and that is a Dagum Cinco. Oh yeah, pack a crawl and a shaky head, absolutely. You can go look at one of my videos, dude. Uh, dude caught like a eight pounder on Lake X on a black and blue shaky head. So, yes or no, true or false? This is the best soft plastic for shallow water bass. I mean, this is a Senko. It is the OG. This is the Yamamoto. I would get a Yum Dinger. I need to get a Yum Dinger for comparison, but I'm afraid I'm going to teabag the camera. Whoops. Barking spider in here. Let's see. I can get this Yum Dinger. Oh, yeah. Whew. So this is the one everybody says, I ain't going to buy that gum Cinco. I'm buying Yum Dinger. You know what? These work. I hate to tell you. Yum Dinger works. So let's compare them. Yum Dinger. Yum Dinger in my left hand. Cinco in my right hand. Now I'm going to switch them up. Can you tell which is which without the color? So uh, this right here is the Cinco. This is the Dinger. Very, very close. But if you'll tell, the Dinger over here is a little bit more tapered at the end. And not. it's a little bit more thinner on the tail end. Very similar width. Uh, the Dinger does have a little hook slot. The big thing is they're super cheap. Dingers do hold up a little bit better. The one thing, and I don't think people realize this, Gary Yamamoto makes so many daggum colors. This is my favorite Cinco color. Green pumpkin and watermelon. Don't know why, but my buddy Blake Hall down there at Gunnersville, he swears by it too. This eliminates me from buying 5,000 colors. I just buy green pumpkin, watermelon, Cinco. And something I like to do, not just a plug, I'm going to tell you, Dirty water guys, take you a little bit of chartreuse dye. Take your Cinco. Let 
So we'll get some of my laptop. And here in a second, that tip of glow chartreuse. So, yeah, dingers are definitely cheaper. Now you can buy a 50 pack, but uh, my, you know, let's see here now. Let's see if that color is starting to show. Maybe not. This webcam sucks. Now you, you can see it at that angle. I really like that chartreuse on that. I really like that to glow. And the water dipping dye looks a lot better. But, yeah. Um, and then we got the new guy on the block. that I've been using quite a bit. And this is the Six Cents Clout. And it's a definitely a different stick bait. So if you'll notice the clout, this is dark water bug, this is an awesome color. Uh, you guys have got some really nasty water, this is the one, there's been a lot of guys post on Instagram catching a lot of fish on this. I use the clout quite a bit now. so. You'll notice it's a lot thinner uh, than a Cinco. It's even got a totally different body style. Cinco's more cigar shaped. This is more of a straight worm. Uh, the clout has these diamond patterns on it. Man, they're really nice. So two-tone color here. I like the clout a lot, especially on a wacky rig. It's got a lot of action. It's got a really good fall rate. And if the Cinco, I'm going to tell you, usually when I want a Cinco, I'll throw a Cinco. But this is a really good bait. And the clout is good on a drop shot. It's actually really good on a Nico rig. I like it a little bit better. It may have been made for Conroe, but god dang, it's good here too. Uh, the color I really like. And I got a lot of these clouts. I mean, it's just straight up. The first time I fished it, I caught some really good ones on it. And you get uh, 10 of these in a bag. And they're like $3.99. Here's the t my two favorite colors in the clout. So far. I have tr I have not used the quiver, but dude, it's awesome. So, this is watermelon scents. Uh, it's got a little blue hue to it. It's really almost like a watermelon magic crawl. I really like this on uh, some uh, clear water. Really like that. And then the one, uh, the very first time I fished this bait, and I caught him with my buddy Jake Lawrence. He was using just a June bug Cinco, and I started throwing this right here. And this is Melon Dust, which is actually on sale on the Six Sense website. Just a, it's almost like a chartreuse pumpkin. And man, I like this one a lot. Very natural. And you can use that code Bateman and get 10% off. So you're really getting it for like $3.50 a bag. And then, yeah, Watermelon Gold. A Bama Bug in a Cinco is a really good color. That's one of my favorites. Which, speaking of, Six Cents makes this color right here. Nirvana. Which is kind of a black and blue. And then a green pumpkin. Man, this is a nasty color. really like that. Kind of like that Reaction Tramp stamp. The 48 is a really, really good. Mega Bass Cattle Tongue. I haven't even heard of that. So, what do you like for storing soft plastics in a boat? I'm going to be honest. Bass Mafia money bags is pretty much the way to go. Uh, if you want to store bulk plastics, if you've only got like. 10 or 11 bags of something. Uh, you can put these little six cents bait. These are really good because they're stackable. They're soft. They collapse. 
But man, a Bass Mafia money bag, it is really hard to beat that. Like, I'm just looking across from me. I've got like 30 packs of sweet beavers. I just put them all, I would put them all in a money bag. And the thing about the money bag is I could actually put one of these inside a money bag. You know, because those are collapsible and then they're waterproof. Ugh. Have I ever fished in the Northeast? If so, what body of water? No, I have not fished, but I've heard some good things about the state of Maine, believe it or not, and that the fishing is really good. Every store only has the Guggen money bags available. Tackle Warehouse is your friend. Or you just go to MafiaOutdoors.com and buy them direct. The cool thing about the money bag is you can throw crankbaits in there and just all kinds of stuff. I'm going to tell you probably one of the most underrated stick worms, in my opinion. I'm not just saying this, guys. But I'm going to tell you, this guy right here catches them. And that is the freaking Ocho. Oh, yeah. That's a new color. That's te te Tequila Sunrise Red. And this color works. It's a really good off-color water uh, deal. It's good uh, Nico rig. But, man... I've caught a lot of fish on the Ocho, and it's really, really soft, and it's got some really good action to it. It skips really, really well, and the durability is pretty good on the Ocho. Um, and you can find them a lot of places. And then, if you don't know this, Strike King makes a more Cinco-style bait called a Shimmy Stick, which you can get at Walmart. But I really feel like the Ocho is very underrated. Um, and the Magic Crawl, Blue Crawl color in the Ocho is dynamite. What's a paddle tail swim bait should be thrown outside of Kai Tech and Strike King? I said it before. Scottsboro Tackle. Or. This is one of my favorites, man. It holds up really, really daggum good. I'm a Bass Tricks guy. Zoom Swimmer is amazing. Very, very good. The only problem about the Zoom Swimmer, they smell like butt. Like, they smell bad. So, let's see here. What all I got? I'm going to tell you a good bait for shallow water fishing. It's just a dadgum rage crawl. Uh, I feel like so many guys throw a Rage Crawl as a jig trailer, and this is the Baby Rage. But the Rage Crawl is really good, too. One thing I like about the Ocho, I really like that big one, especially on a Carolina rig. So, Other shallow water baits I like. Oh, check this out. I don't know where my TW order is, but... So, a bait that I really, really liked. Missile baits, quivers, yeah, they're awesome. I got I got some up here, but I had to get up and get around this mess. Uh, dude, this guy right here, this, this thing catches them. I'm not the fluke master, but I fished flukes with fluke master, and I held my own pretty well. Uh, Space Monkey is a good bait. Uh, if you need quivers, hit up Matt Birch at Birch's Tackle Shop, man. He's got a good stock of them in. Uh, but one thing I like about a fluke is you can cause a reaction bite from bass. Instead of flipping and pitching and dragging on the bottom, a lot of times you can get uh, a reaction bite from them. What do I like better? I actually like the Zoom Swimmer uh, better if I'm putting a lead head on. Uh, I like the Berkeley Hollow belly, belly better if I'm putting a, a beast hook or uh, a belly weighted hook. I don't donkey rig unless I'm throwing open water. Whew, how often do I throw lizards? Uh, I used to throw them all the time. That was like the only thing I ever 
through as a loser. Not much lately. Damn. Got to slow down a row up on these questions here, guys. I do like the Chigger Craw, but I'm more of a Pack a Craw guy. I got the Rona. Wish me well. Stay safe. It, if you really have it, James, dude, prayers out to you, man. That is a bad deal, man. Birch does have a website. Feel free to post it in here. Where do you place a nail weight in my fluke? So I don't use a nail weight in a fluke. I'm going to show you uh, the hook I use for a fluke. If I can find my terminal box. I got a mess. Keep it really simple here. I don't use a nail weight in my fluke. I'll tell you how I change the weight. That's not it. Is the thing going? All right. getting serious now Find these scissors so obviously I've used this hook before there's a tag on it so this is the hook I really like using for a fluke and after many many times I've tried everything from a shank a straight shank to I even tried a flipping hook one time to wide gaps this is the mustad grip pin uh, EWG very simple here to rig a fluke. I just go in right here, go in the nose, and where it starts to open up to a belly slot, I go ahead and pull it out. And then I, I see this this grip pin. If you can tell, it has a little notch right here. It's not really much of anything. And then I pull this through, and see where that notch kind of meets where the nose hits the slip. And just push it through like that right there and I do a little text post that's about the perfect rig I could ever do so that's how I'm gonna rig a flute now instead of a, a weight in the nail what I do if I want a flute to really work underwater I use heavier fluorocarbon like 14 to 16 pound fluorocarbon it actually sinks so your fluke will sink more if you use fluorocarbon a lot of times, I want that flirt, flip working as fast as I can, just, just darting back and forth, back and forth, almost kind of ripping the water. And I use monofilament. It's going. It's a little harder to get the hook in. you got to let them eat it. But I'll use like 12 or 14 pound monofilament. Um, I use Trolley Max or, or P-Line. I'll give you a tip on P-Line. If you usually use... 17 pound mono drop to like 14 or 15 pound p line because of the thickness but i want that bait to work high in the water column i use monofilament if i want it to go deeper i use fluorocarbon you can do that caleb uh i'm fishing this around heavy cover a lot so i'm going to stay away from that treble hook open water that's a great deal Yes, sir. Smash that like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button for me. Look, man, if the window building decides they don't need me, I am going to be traveling and fishing and making YouTube videos every day. So I may get to see some of you guys. Uh, I'm also going to tell you guys, this is a deadly Carolina rig bait. Uh, but you need to go with your green pumpkins or watermelon reds. Uh, colors I like for up shallow. I like glimmer blue. I like pearl white. Um, they make a lavender shad color. I think it's a special run, but it's really good. I'm going to watch this bait for the most part. A lot of my strikes I catch fishing this around shallow cover, laydowns, bushes, stuff like that. Uh, that's going to be uh, a visual bite for me. I don't run a double fluke rig very much because I. I just that's just it takes a lot of time to rig up um, that's kind of not my style in the fall um, I'm gonna throw a regular walking bait for the most part been gone forever man I started at eight Zach old school Bagley's they're okay they're okay not a bad bait not my favorite bait so oh yeah someone's talking about lizards I keep it pretty daggum simple 
uh, on a lizard up shallow. Black and chartreuse. It, it, it makes a good silhouette. Little chartreuse tail to tease them. This is just a regular zoom six inch lizard. Or I go with the green pumpkin lizard. Oh yeah, flukes and pre-spawn are nasty, man. Uh, there's a lot of guys that still throw jerk baits right now. 52 likes, 256 watching. Yeah, guys, 256 people watching. Smash that like button. Have you tried a Freedom Chatterbait with a flipping hook? Yes, it is, and it is pretty good. It's very underrated. Your local shop is selling all Guggen baits and putting them everywhere. It's horrible. Wait till the bait man baits from Six Cents come out. I'm just kidding. That's really not happening, but it'd be cool if it did. Black and blue lizard, green pumpkin, black chartreuse, uh, watermelon red, green pumpkin red. You don't need a bunch of crazy colors, but yeah, my wife trimmed my beard today. I appreciate that. Uh, these are a cool lizard I bought last year. These are a culprit. Uh, and they call them a water dragon. I really like this color. It's called Swamp Juice. And it's a, a bigger lizard. It's almost an 8 inch lizard. Check that guy out. I liked it because it's got a really wide body. It's going to have a little bit of different action to it. It's got an even longer legs. So as you move it, uh, it's going to go different. Shady, I guess you're going to have to hit the like button after the stream off Apple TV. But I really like that one right there. You know it, Brian Crawford. 8-inch mag, zoom, and green pumpkin is just so hard to be beat. But I like this because it's got all that, you know, almost a motor oil red flake. It's got a little purple in it on that belly. So kind of get that magic crawl look. Really like that. That's a that's a big culprit lizard. So culprit red shad worm. God, how many fish have been caught on that thing? And these, uh, these got a little bit of smell good to them. This is uh this one's nasty too. This is the old power bait power lizard. And they've come back out with this. This is the old ones. And that's a plum, so if you guys like black and blue, I always throw a plum, which is kind of got that blue flake in it. That's really, really good right there. So the big power lizard, if I'm going for bigger bites, I'm definitely gonna pitch a big lizard. I think a lot of people forget how good the lizard is. But it's really good when you're just uh, you're fishing and you're maybe you're fishing some bushes and you're going in between. That lizard's nasty. If you were to make a new hard bait or soft bait that is totally new, what would it be? I would tell you Silas, but I'm afraid you'd get coffee. I would make a magnum ringworm, like a 13-inch ring, ringworm. That would be my favorite deal. Keep it really simple. God, I'm piling up the baits again tonight. Um, I, I'll tell you guys, a lot of guys like an EWG hook. This is the Six Cent Stout EWG. And I'm not a big EWG fan, but I got these. These are, if I'm throwing a big creature bait like, well, right here, got one. If I'm throwing a Zoom Brush Hog. This is, one of, this is a great bait, shallow water cover, just the old school brush hog, one of the original creature baits. That's when I throw an EWG hook because it's just a meaty, meaty bait. And I feel like a round band or straight shank doesn't get the hook penetration again. Very simple to rig these things. You know, you put it on a Texas rig. But I really like an EWG hook on a brush hog because look at that gap there. For the most part, everything else, flipping hook, or I'm going to go with just a round bend. Yeah, they do. Uh, I can't afford that, though, Oscars. Thanks, Dustin. I appreciate it, man. Family's good. Everybody's healthy. Kids are driving me nuts, but I love them to death. Dude, the Kitek Long Mag Wag does look promising, man. It uh, It's a really good one. I need to order some of those. Um, 
This is one of my favorite uh, flipping pitching baits, and I've, I've, I've told guys a lot. That's the Rojas Fighting Frog. The only problem is in the package, they're really oily, and it's hard for a hook to stay in. I use a grip pin 4 aught or any kind of flipping hook that's got like a keeper on it. So, I like a 4 aught. This is a 6 cents. If you guys didn't know, they make really good hooks. Junior is, I don't know what he's doing. He's, his sister threw an iPad at him last night, and he's just not wanting to hang out very much. He's in there raising cane right now. What's up, LT Outdoors? Oh, so one thing I like about the fighting frog is it swims really, really good. These legs, when it's going down, they really helicopter, they make a lot of motion, but it is thin, and I go through a lot of them. You see that? It's got a hook slot. I just took me a 4 out flipping hook. Go on the head here. And I always want this hook slot facing me when I'm rigging it. Come out the bottom. And I don't use a 5 out because they're so big, it, by the time you pull it out. And then all I want is it skin hook. I don't know if you can tell right there, but... This, it's got a little slot and it protects the tip of the hook. I just want it skin hooked. Throwing this on a kind of a light weight, like a half ounce, or not half, but like a, a three eighths ounce, quarter ounce around the bushes on the outside, man, you will get your arm broke. This is a really, really good bait. One of my favorite baits from uh, Big Bite. And that color is Confusion. You see it's got a little red flake and then it's got a little hematoma on it. Really like that dude right there. Uh, this is a, also just a great cast around Carolina rig bait, man. They like this thing. And matter of fact, you know, that's made by Big Big Bite Baits. Uh, they're, they offer them in a 25 pack now, and that's where I got this one out of. It's just a excellent bait. And uh, I've caught some janks on that thing. Um... I'm gonna tell you the most under one of the most underrated one is dude. I wish I had a ring light. I got a 500 watt halogen light is what I got. Birch Berkeley Pit Boss. Oh, this is the old school ones too. This is the Havoc. Now they make these in Power Bait, but just a Pit Boss is a, a great flipping bait. Very simple. Again, all you need. I like a four aught flipping hook for the most part. All you need is a flipping hook. Again, rig it up. And this keeper on a six cents is the deal, man. It, it keeps them really well, well. And you always want to get that keeper right outside the plastic. See, see how that keeper's lined up with the edge of that plastic? That keeps it from wadding up. And just push it down. And then just do a little texpose on the old pit boss, man. Uh, you know. Skeet Reese is an awesome dude, good friend of mine. And even though he's sponsored by Berkeley, he said, I'd buy these things even if I wasn't. It's just a great bait. Not expensive. Works awesome. Very simple bait. One thing about the Pit Boss, see how compact it is. There's not a lot of tentacles hanging off of it. It's very slim. It slides in and out of that cover. Kevin Simmons, thank you, my man, for the $20. Make you holler. Definitely appreciated it. And you're always welcome. I love hanging out with you guys. Man, I need lighting. I just, uh, I'm good on the camera tips, man. I, I'm using a 1080p webcam right now. Uh, I just threw some cheap lighting up. I didn't want to be expensive. Um, you know, I used to do video editing. and I, I, Actually, I am doing video editing videography a lot now for... Uh, a living. I'll tell you what hurts the lighting as far as seeing the baits right now is I got a black shirt on. So, but uh, anyway, what else we got here? Oh, yeah. How can you not talk about flipping and pitching without the D bomb? Probably one of my favorites. Again, very compact, very soft. Dude, Birch, you ain't got to do that, man. I don't, I don't, I don't want you buying me lots. 
I just appreciate you shipping baits quick, man. D bomb, and what I like about the D bomb is it's ribbed, so you get really, really good hook penetration really quick. Another tip I'll tell you is pinch these little side things off, flip it in a bush, and then swim it out. You'll catch a lot of fish. But that color is called dill pickle. Um, that's kind of a special run color that uh, a certain wholesaler makes. Uh, you'll have to search. I think Land Big Fish carries this color right here. It's just a green pumpkin with some chartreuse belly. Excellent color. And what I like is I can throw this in dirty water or I can fish it in clear water. It's just very natural in clear water and dirty water. It shows up really good. Uh, super bugs a color I like growing as well. Uh, you know, we're talking about brush hogs and game hogs. Um, my boys over at Tactical love this bait really well, and I've gotten to like it really well. That is the Reaction Innovations Man Bear Pig. I really like that Man Bear Pig. This color is called Kusa Special, I believe. No, Warmouth. Warmouth. So it's got some green pumpkin, some June bug. It's just a nasty looking color and it catches them. Very good bluegill imitator right here. Really like the man bear pig slim profile, you know, similar to the old power hog. Um, great bait. Uh, let's see here. 276 watching. Whoa, whoa. Do you like the Lake Fort ringworm? I like it, James. I don't like it as much as I like uh, the ringer. Uh, I think the ringer's got a longer tail to it. Um, it uh, man, I'm, I'm just hard for me to come off. Oh, Monty can tell you that ringworm does work. I've got a Super Chat app, and for some reason it doesn't work. And I would love, look at this hair, guys. This hair is, whoo, going to be looking like that gum. Joe Thomas with that. I'm going to have to just wear the hat and have the side hair. Well, I think Reaction Innovations is uh, trying to get into bigger retail stores, and I don't blame them. So, Who Daddy's really good, too. Uh, Roadkill, too, man. Brian Crawford, that brings back some memories, man. I, you know what? The only tubes I got here at the house are in roadkill, if that tells them anything. Yeah, dude, it's uh, the hair is just, it's hurting. I've lost weight and I've lost my hair. This is, uh, look at this. That's bad right there, boys. Let's see here. So, you know, reaction innovations. Oh, yeah, the spicy beaver. If you want something with a lot of kicking action. That's a really, really good bait. I love it as a jig trailer. Good on a swim jig, too. What else we got down here? I'll show you my favorite beaver color. This is this color is my favorite beaver right here. Dude, I love that old snoozer road kill. Right here. Green goby. And these are old packages. This is the original green goby. It's almost a green pumpkin with gold. Lake Barkley uh, treats me right on that thing right there. Uh, Brian Crawford would know I caught a really big sack of fish with our buddy Mr. Defew the first week of April about seven years ago. Caught 20 pounds in five flips, this color right here, uh, over in Davenport Bay. So if you fish Lake Barkley and want to catch a fish, head over to Davenport, fish them flooded buck brushes on the secondary points. Uh, that's a really good area. And then a color I, I definitely like is, it's very simple. Um, it's penetration. It's a, kind of a hematoma with some silver sparkle in it. When the water's dirty, I catch a lot of fish on this right here. Kinky beaver, spicy beaver, big beaver, small beaver. I like all the beaver I can get. They don't make a bad bait. Aaron Martin's, uh, that's a good question. I got a message right here. Somebody actually sent me. 
Apparently, Aaron Martin's had a stroke in the boat. He got taken to the ER and has two brain tumors. I don't know if that's fact, so let's not repeat that. But that is crazy. Uh, so, prayers up for Aaron Martin's one of the coolest dudes on the planet, for sure. All right. I will answer this for you. Dennis Kleinbrink says, What's going on with Sportsman's Outfitters? I ordered Dobbins Rod last week and had trouble shipping. So, Sportsman's Outfitters and a couple other websites, uh, they don't actually have stock of those rods. Um, they drop ship. So, when you order, they call Dobbins and they order rod. And Dobbins' preference is they ship their orders that are direct to Dobbins first and then they do the drop shipping so depending on what time and when you order from Sports and Outfitters someone had to collect that order they had to call Dobbins to get your rod ordered and send it to you uh, drop shipping usually takes an extra couple days I would know because I used to do that what's up Sean hope everything's going all right for you tonight I've got a freaking mess to clean up here but uh Anyway, uh, shallow water baits, I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, I'm probably going to make a lot of videos, hope, hopefully, no promises, I'm going to try and make some more uh, videos, my best flipping baits, again, uh, best shallow water baits, unique baits, um, and we're going to do that, because I love streaming, but sometimes streaming really doesn't help my channel, it's those other videos that aren't streaming videos that help out. Dude, the cowboy is nasty, man, that's a really good uh, video, so... James, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and this is goes live. Uh, I've seen some really unhealthy people live a long time, and I've seen some really healthy people live a short time. When it's your time, when the man upstairs says it's time, it's time. So, you know, live for the today. You don't know if you got tomorrow. Uh, it's not guaranteed to you. So. Stroke across swim jig or by itself. Um, I went fishing yesterday. And long story short, I filmed all day, and a buddy of mine um, just happened to be on the water. And after we got done filming, he said, hey, man, jump in the boat. So I jumped in the boat with him. Uh, he had limited amount of tackle. I didn't even have my rods and reels. And uh, I caught several fish, and, man, I, I caught them on a game hog. That's what he had in the boat. Oh, yeah. Dustin Taylor, are you talking about... I got one down here somewhere. This right guy right here. The Yamamoto Flapping Hog is an unreal shallow water bait. That guy right there. Uh, it has like a dead action till it hits the water and all these appendages really fold over and put it into like a fighting posture. This is a really good flipping bait. And that's a good color. You guys want that fire crawl jackhammer? There's your fire crawl. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm sorry, Dustin, but I like the flapping hog. That's a really good one. All right. Do you know Alex Rudd can't do his live stream because someone's made a false report multiple times? I have no clue why. Um, I've never had any kind of report on my channel, surprisingly. Surprisingly, I haven't been hacked by the or Googans or anybody like that. But uh, I find that hard to believe. Um, I feel like it might be a technical issue that Alex looks into. Uh, because someone can report your video, but they don't uh, really take it down. They just send you an information that has been reported, and then you have to reply why it's not. So maybe it has something to do with some taggings. I don't know. Alex is a good dude. I enjoy watching his streams. Uh, I comment on there all the time. Uh, I don't know what Bradley Hallman's new soft plastic bait is. Sure don't. But he's a good dude. I know that. What do you like for pre-spawn spinnerbait fishing? Well. Wish I had one. I, I like angler assets uh, spinnerbait. And then I, I like a an accent this is an accent i've modified the blades i like that that head on there um uh, and then i like just a, a normal this is a spot sticker spinnerbait right here 
water's clear, I'm going to go with those silver blades. And then, I like something like this right here. This is a, uh, a kicker blade. This is from Spot Sticker as well. Got a little Colorado, got an Indiana right there as well. Uh, dirty water, I like this style right here. Uh, if it's clean, I'm going with Double Willow. I can get way off topic. I'm, I love spinner baits, so... I have fished the suge and it's a really good head. But uh, how many people we got watching this deal? But uh, anyway, I've streamed twice this week. I went over my tackle warehouse order I got in the last video. I've showed you all the new six cent stuff. Um, I'm going to hang out with Bait Jr. Off topic, best to throw around fry garters, top water, man. Absolutely. A popper, a bluegill popper is nasty around fry garters. That and a small finesse spinnerbait kick their butt. Um, but uh, I'm going to hang out with Baitman Jr. Um, you guys let me know in the comments uh, what kind of videos you want to see that aren't streams, different tip videos, stuff like that. And I'm going to try to work on those this week. But uh, I'm going to get off here i'm gonna make a new thumbnail and then i'm gonna put the uh jank juice giveaway ready up on instagram so you got to be subscribed to the channel and you got to comment on this video uh to be eligible so that's the deal but i'm gonna jump off here thank you guys for joining me we've been on like an hour and a half Thank you guys that donated to the channel. I got a notification of a PayPal donation. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Check out my guys at Scottsboro Tackle. You guys stay safe. Be with your families. I know it's tough right now. If you get a chance to go fishing, good luck. Send me some photos of your janks. Um, signing off. That's it. That's the end of the show. Good night.